everybody, welcome back to a new video on this channel and today we look into why Pina and view use and maybe some more packages will get the new major version and how it's related to view 3 and view 2. Let's go. Yes, you heard it correctly. Pina will get a new major version. View use has a beta out already and will also get a new major. And these are all related to V2 support. But before we dive into the history of that, how that happened, uh, and some words from the authors of the libraries, let's uh, talk about something that's also upcoming, which is an amazing conference, right? Vue.js Amsterdam. Definitely have a look because not only their ticket sales are on right now and it's in March, so time is running, especially if you want to get a nice accommodation too. They also have an amazing lineup from Avenue himself, of course, to all the Cornux people. So Puya, Daniel, Sebastian, and amazing speakers from the community. Definitely take a look. Also, the CFP is open. So if you're interested in that, feel free to submit and uh, definitely grab your ticket. Luckily, the organizers were so kind to give a 10% discount with my last name, Lichter. Right, um, so you can straight away go there on top of every sale that's running at 10% uh, off. And uh, I hope to see you there. Of course, we'll be there doing some recordings here and there. Um, and I'm looking so forward to chat with uh, all of you to see you there in person. And yeah, there will be some amazing days, especially um, together with JS World, which is the third day afterwards. Uh, hope to see you all there. A highly praised conference and I can't wait for March. But Coming back to Vue 2 and Vue 3 support for Vue use for Pina and so on and so on. Maybe a lot of people were not aware. Yeah, Pina was already there when Vue 2 was out, right? And it always had support for Vue 2. But this is kind of ending now. And why? Well, let's uh, hear what Eduardo said himself about it. Blue Sky Eduardo mentioned, I'm considering releasing Pina v3 with support only for Vue 3. And asking, are you using Pina with Vue 2 in any projects for work or for personal applications? That happened on November 7th, so almost a month ago, right? And there were some responses saying, yeah, sure. Some people were like, oh yeah, Vuex usually for Vue 2. Some people use Pina with Vue 2 at work, for example, Joaquin here and so on, so on. So there's a few information in there. And of course, there will be a few answers. Yeah, sure. Some some people used, of course, Vuex and then moved over with Vue 3 to Pina. Other people use, for example, Joaquin use Pina with Vue 2 at work and so on, so on. But the main point is, why even considering to drop Vue2 support? Well, first of all, Vue2 is end of life now for almost one year, right? The end of last year was end of life. So in a way, it's kind of time to drop the ball and to not support two versions of Vue because that also means maintenance overhead, which could be spent on better features, something like data loaders or Pina Colada in case of Eduardo, for example. But there is more to that. Because support from Pina for everything below view 2.7 already stopped due to an NPM error that's caused by peer dependencies. It's super annoying. There were workarounds for that. Of course, issues also, as usual, linked in the description. And it's a pain, especially with NPM in this case. So, of course, people might not read the docs. And then Eduardo's decided, okay, let's avoid an NPM bug fully by creating that PR and saying, you know what, let's just make it require view 2.7. Otherwise, no code changes. But, of course, this is not necessary enough. I mean, on the one hand, that means great, no NPM bug anymore, especially with Nox, that was a little bit annoying. But there is more to that, once again. Um, Vue is end of life for a while now, and it's also maintenance effort. So what happened is pretty simple. I'd already decided, you know what, let's ship Pina 3.0 only with Vue 3 support, without Vue Demi support. We'll talk about the library in a bit. He also pointed out what I just mentioned, that Pina 2.3 only supported Vue 2.7 and above there. And it improves also NPM compatibility because once again, optional peer dependencies were an issue. And here's the link to the changelog. And of course, after posting that on Blue Sky and on Twitter, there were some responses here and there. Of course, Reddit could also not wait to comment on that. But be assured, if you are still on view 2.6 and so on and so on, you should upgrade to 2.7, of course, and then simply use Pina 2. Point whatever the current minor is. Nobody stops you from doing that. You will be fine. Then, of course, when there are new features that are only supported in Pina 3.0 and uh, beyond, you can't use them, but it's also an incentive to either upgrade or miss out there. Depending on the project, either is, of course, fine. So, how do we continue from there? That's not the whole story, right? And it's definitely not, because there is another library I mentioned in the intro already, Vue Use. And Vue Use also was considering to drop Vue 2 and go Vue 3 only because the problem is some misalignment there. 
And whoever does not know view use because, well, we either mentioned that in Data View quite a lot or podcast with uh, Michael Thiessen or also in the videos here, you should definitely check it out. But the problem is that there are some very, very low level building blocks there. And the issue is that, well, the building blocks, especially the types for the, the ref, for example, of view two and view three, they don't align anymore. So it is really, really difficult to do that. And two code bases are not really the way. So of course there was some feedback on that. People were giving their opinion, weighing in, and the end result was pretty simple because, well, it's happening. So there is the beta that I mentioned before, and it is out and it is there to drop fully V2 support, which also means a better optimized bundle. That's great. So V12 um, in beta right now, and at some point the major version will have no V2 support anymore. That, by the way, also means that all the polyfills uh, or walkarounds, uh, for example, for proxies, they're gone and so on, so on, no reactivity caveats. So that's pretty nice. But maybe let's dive into the reasoning why exactly here, what kind of misalignment happened and why it's not really feasible to support V2 there anymore. Because my suggestion straight away was, okay, I saw Eduardo's announcement when uh, Anthony was pointing it out that was uh, in November 20th, so couple of weeks later, they was like, hey, whatever you do, let's just align with Eduardo because he plans the same idea. They were talking a little bit and um, here it comes. It might be also the death of Vue Demi. So if you haven't heard of that library, it's pretty interesting. Vue Demi is uh, a wonderful library that allows you to, well, make your projects and libraries and applications work in Vue 2 and Vue 3. So ideally a great utility, which you can use to make your libraries cross compatible. And it's really great. It's used by uh, quite some projects and there's a non-exhaustive list at the very end with some uh, information. Let's scroll a bit down, here we go. So we have like, obviously, bigger things like view use, Apollo composable, view lead date, and so on, so on. But the point is, it's not really manageable anymore. And Anthony explains on Blue Sky why exactly and why this is also the death of Udemy and Udemy will be deprecated. First, it's like, yeah, he, he thinks that might be, that might be it, yeah. Because in Vue 3, Ref can now accept two generics and in Vue 2, it's only one. So that means <laughs> it's really difficult to align these, first of all, and also types like Shallow Ref, Maybe Ref, Maybe Ref Forgetter and so on. They don't exist in Vue 2, so it's not really uh, perfectly alignable and thus can't deliver full support. So yeah, there were some discussions, of course, around that, and eventually this happened. And of course, before recording this video, I asked Anthony, saying like, hey, look, What's your stake on the whole view demi topic? You said you thought about deprecating or archiving it. Will you actually do that? And the answer is yes, that will happen. So it's usable right now, correct. But in the future, it won't be developed further. It will be deprecated, archived. There will be a message saying, hey, for new projects, please don't use it. Um, and in a way that's quite consequential with the end of life of view 2, the ecosystem moving on and everyone who is still stuck on view 2, well, you can migrate over. It's not an issue. There might be a few more steps now or a few features you can't use. In a way, it's also a nudge in the direction to say, hey, if your application is still in active development, it might be good to finally uh, make the step over. You can also go step by step. You can still use the old versions and then upgrade to the new versions of Pina, view use, and so on, so on. And um, that's the way to go. I'm really curious how this will turn out for view router though, if that will also happen and um, we see a major version only supporting view free and beyond there. We'll see how that will go. And I think it's in a way good that especially the maintainer who do these, well, full time, thanks to sponsorships, consultancy and so on, so on, they have more time for, well, features like, um, as I said before, new views, features, typed routes, Pina Colada, data loaders that bring the ecosystem forward and not holding it back. Now, of course, everyone who's still on a view two application might think, yeah, easy for you to say, right? Kind of true, but still, if there's a perfect time to migrate, it would have been yesterday and the days before. But especially now that this is on the horizon, it might be a good idea to do that and not get more work in terms of, okay, Pina is a new feature, we can't use that. So we later might want to go through application and add that on top as well. Or, hey, here might be a bug that's not fixed. So yeah, that might be a good occasion to get the things up and ready now to migrate over. So now I want to know from all of you out there, who's still on view two maybe? Um, and I'm not talking about options versus composition API, right? Like you can fully use the options API with Pinya. That's totally fine. It's more about the major version, even though it's often mixed together. 
you can fully use the options API in Vue 3, just have to bump it and apply the breaking changes, the ecosystem, and so on, so on. You know the drill. Nevertheless, are you still on Vue 2? Is it still a thing for your applications? And if yes, planning to migrate? How do you think about the changes moving forward and what's your sentiment on that? Let me know in the comments. I'll, as usual, read for all of them. And uh, I hope you stay tuned for more news, more tutorials, and more information. Definitely check out the latest Deja View episode, which is a lovely panel from View Toronto, where Michael and I did our first together in person real episode on stage of View Toronto, talking with Evan, Daniel, Sigrid, and John about open source, their favorite view features, uh, and uh, a lot of amazing other things. Definitely check it out. And otherwise, I hope to see you in either the older videos, and you see me there or in the next one, maybe the premiere um, next week, next Friday, as usual. Have a great time and happy hacking.